uh, Buffalo Bill Cody Scenic Highway coming out of the east entrance of uh, yes, Yellowstone. It's amazing. I love this this brown rock like this. I kind of had this feeling when I was leaving Yellowstone, like, oh, I hate to leave there, but everything outside of the park is just as beautiful as well. Wow, Wyoming. I had no idea. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dang. Oh, a tunnel. Yay. Oh, this is fun. I can't really say I've driven through one of these ever. Maybe years ago on my cross country trip. I can see the light. Oh, it's not over yet. Yeah. Just a little one. How cool is this? Yeah, buddy. Cody, Wyoming. All right, guys, so I got up early this morning, about 4.45. It's on the road about 5 a.m. Wanted to get an early start. I went to bed really early last night. Slept at a Walmart parking lot in Cody, Wyoming. A cool little town. I was just exhausted from hiking around Yosemite. So I got a really good night's rest. I got to put some miles on today. So I'm going to uh, head out from Cody, Wyoming. I'll be going in through Montana for a little bit and then into South to, or into North Dakota. Hello, Montana. First time in Montana. All right, so I just stopped into this Miles City, Montana. Still making our way into North Dakota. Stopped at a Walmart. I had to grab a couple more groceries and made a, sell a sandwich in the parking lot. And I'm gonna get back on the highway here. Kind of a cowboy town out here, which is cool. A lot of trucks with horse trailers. The water tower up on the hill over here that says Mile City has the Bucking Bronco picture on it. So this is the little town of Medora. It's kind of a historical type town. Dig it going to probably pull over, see if I can get online and see where the campsites are. All right, Sully Creek State Park. Let's see if we can get some info. It looks like they got bathrooms. Pay before entering. Oh, you can already see you gotta pay. Let's see how much it costs. Oh, pretty area. Well, it looks like it's $10. Camp here. I'm gonna roll in here and see I really want to camp here or not. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and spend the 10 bucks. Uh, it looks kind of cool actually. There's plenty of trees in here. It's actually warm. I think it's like almost 80 degrees. So I'm gonna set my little portable shower out in the sun, let it warm up. Take me a shower. It's been a couple days, guys. All right, guys, so we're at the campground here. It's a Sully Creek campground in uh, Medora, North Dakota. Uh, really cool campground. Half of it is set up for horses and the other half is for uh, non-horse riders. Uh, the front half of the campground, they have little personal horse stables next to each site so you can keep your horse with you overnight. Uh, but here it's pretty chill. There is nobody else camped here today. Uh, it is Sunday afternoon so it looked like there was a couple people checking out when I came in. But nice little spot. I guess you could set up a tent here. But I've got my table here in the shade. Van is in the sun to charge the solar panel. I got my portable shower warming up in the sun there. Take me a nice warm shower before the sun goes down. And uh, just chilling. I'm going to grill up some burgers and just enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Might go for a little walk around, check out some of the trails. <clears throat> I'm pretty tired. I drove almost seven hours today, which is be two hours past my normal five hour limit I try to set for myself. Uh, but I needed to gain some ground, so I did that, and I'm just going to chill out. But check it out. Got this uh, hillside right across the way there. I'm about th three, four miles out of uh, the town of Medora. So it's going to be real quiet here tonight. 
Should see a lot of stars. Looking forward to that. So just enjoying this adventure, guys. It has been so much fun. Uh, looking forward to get to the work camping job to see what that's all about. Experience that and, of course, make some money to keep me on the road here. So. Hey, good morning guys. So I had a great night's sleep here at the campsite last night. It was really quiet. Uh, stars were really bright out last night. Um, but yeah, it's just great to wake up to such a beautiful place. Went for a nice walk this morning. Now I'm back at camp, set up over here. Uh, I'm just gonna do like an egg scramble for some breakfast burritos. I got my tortillas here. I'm gonna do my typical mushrooms and onions. Um, but I'm also gonna add some, some ham I chopped up. So I'll throw that ham in there, get that good and cooked, and then I'm going to add uh, three eggs. So it should be good. I'm hungry this morning. I'll probably add some cheddar cheese also. Got my coffee made up already, steaming over here. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so we got the mushrooms, onions, ham, egg. I'm going to melt that uh, cheddar cheese on there and then get a couple tortillas warming up on top. Make me some nice burritos. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, that cheese is melting up good. I'm gonna go ahead and get one started. Yummy. All right, so I got them rolled up. I always use like a knife or my spatula to set on top of them to keep them from unrolling while I'm getting ready to eat. Um, so yeah, these should be awesome, guys. That cheddar cheese melted in there. Uh-huh. All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you how handy this comes in, um, not just for showering, but, you know, I just pump it up a couple times, and it just makes it so easy to do dishes and stuff, cleaning up, washing hands, stuff like that. Um, you know, I could rinse off my utensils. Uh, it's just so, so handy and so portable. You know, you can move it around to any spot in camp, and you know take it off over by the bushes or wherever you need it and you've got pressurized water with a nice little spray um, so glad that i made that even if i didn't use this for showering i would probably still keep it with me when i travel just for cleaning up your dishes and stuff in the kitchen so um, yeah i could definitely say this is one of the things i'm i'm glad that i i put together before the trip more than anything that i have all right, so we're heading out to Silvery Creek Campground here in Medora, North Dakota. A really nice stay. Like I said that yesterday I drove way too many hours. I drove, it was like seven and a half, almost eight hours on the road. I did take a couple breaks. I went shopping at Walmart halfway, but uh, the whole day before I got here, it would, was eight hours since I had left in the morning, so. Uh, I won't have to do that the rest of this leg of the trip. I'm actually really close to my work camping area. Um, kind of gave myself uh, an extra day doing that one long day of driving just in case I had any complications. I'm going to try to connect with somebody in Bismarck area. Uh, if that doesn't work out, I may just try to find a little campground there and then get up tomorrow. and. Uh, drive the rest of the leg up to the campground at the work camping job. 